So change in bearings, always double check the bearing looseness. This is how we're checking bearing settings and replacing bearings or and or replacing gear sets. This is the output shaft of the gear. Putting it inside the housing here. You always try to keep track of the old shims by even writing them down on a piece of paper and then getting new shims and try to put the same amount as it is in there. This is a brown which is a ten thousandths. Blue is five and a green is three. Comes any combination you need to. So we put shims in here just like as we took it all apart. Put the carrier on top. I only put three bolts instead of putting all the bolts in so you don't have to take the bolts in and out all the time. Yeah. Now you check for looseness. You always push down or lightly tap it with a hammer. I always do. Feel the looseness in there. So you got something to measure. Now on this output shaft you both have zero or minus one to minus two thousandths. When you're checking this, you always got to have more looses in it because you don't know what you have. You can't tell if it's zero or minus. So you always got to put more shims in it to double check it. And then you take a, any kind of indicator, attach it to the housing, and try to set it on zero. Turn it, make sure the bearing stays is up, and lift up or pry up. Always double check it a couple times. Make sure I got repeatability. Got it on zero. Pick up. I have three thousandths looseness. Indicator moved three thousandths. So if I take three out of here or four, I'll have my minus one to zero. That's what then this will be set. And what you can't do is if I take the three out, guess what? I can't measure zero. So that's why I always double check it here. You can't measure zero, so when you take it out, then I take three out, I know I'm pretty close. Now it gives you plus or minus one. So you remove this. I keep the shims equal as possible when you check when you're always when you're doing the bearing settings. And like I said, always keep track of what you want to take out, and it's 99.9 .9 times it's about the same. No matter if you're placing a gear set or whatever. And you always double check your bearing looseness, even if you change one bearing, because the bearings are could be a plus or minus five. And the looseness in our gearboxes are very, very, very important. My favorite tool. <laughs> so I have 15 in it, so I need to take three out, so that give me 12. So. Four threes equal twelve. And this is all set for for the bearing settings on the output shaft or the slow speed shaft. Here. It's just the way I do it on this one. Now we gotta check the input. Input, same thing. Keep the shims equal, keep track of them. What we do is put this. Bearings are all pressed up already. Put new bearings in a new gear set. It's all set, ready to roll. And on this three inch, we put this drive this cup in here, which is like this, like that. Thing turns around and around. And here's shims, same, same thickness, but different sizes that fit this here. So I'm putting a 10 in, which is what I took out before on the old part. Or if you don't, if you lose track of the shims, what you do is get our print. Our print shows a starting point of all of our shims. So they all say like 18 nominal or 5 nominal on a print. What we do is just, um, that'd be a starting point in case somebody loses the shims or another shift they could apart. Or give us a call at Cone Drive and we can be more than happy to do it. There you go. Turns around and around. You know I got looses in it. Like tap or press down on the bearings. You can see it move back and forth. That means I got something to measure. If I could not move this back and forth, there'd be nothing to measure. I have to add shims. Again, equal as possible. If I add five on this side, still tight, I would add five on the other side to make it equal as possible. Since I got looses in it, comes right back to the same thing. Grab an indicator, 
Now this is the input, which is high speed shaft. This size here has three or plus or minus one. So you have three thousandths to four thousandths to two thousandths looseness. All of our sizes are a little bit different. They're in the CA55 booklet that we have to double check the looseness. Now if you have something special, always give us a call, but bearing looseness is very important in these. You've got to have some looseness in them because it expands, these bearings span faster than the housing does. Same thing, you set the indicator up. Set this on zero here. Make sure the bearings are seated good by pushing down or light tapping them. And then you just pick up. Picked up, it's four thousandths. I always double check it, push it down, set it zero again. And that's when we, how we check our bearing settings if you change one bearing, two bearings, or if you change a gear set, no matter what, always double check your bearing looseness.